you think that the big door is still open? I hope so. Come on! Grow, little bud. You can do it! Is this it? That was fast. scaring them. We're speeding toward them, and you think my boo is the scary part. Are we saving those for later? Of course. rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. We move in, and the rust clears out. Should I open it, or should you? Mmm, not bad. Hey, that's for cooking. This place is super nice. Hey, look, there's a library. That's great. You were just complaining you had no reading material. Oof, Glishtentar? Uh, have you ever heard of a book titled Oof, Glishtentar? No. This one here is entitled Gorgenamuld. Flurm Glyphen. What does Flurm Glyphen mean? Oh, I have Flurm Glyphen. Ostruisi here. Must be a sequel. Ugh. Please don't tell me all of the books in this library are written in this weird language. I'm about to cry. Ah. I have one with images. If you think I'll be satisfied with a children's picture book? Who said it was a children's book? Check it out. Huh? 
Okay. We'll take this one. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. Whoa! May I? All clean. plate has a nice leading edge. I'm wondering, maybe if I rigged the wing root a bit, added a safety slat here, shaved down the trailing edge, yep, this should make a completely viable semi-airfoil. Awesome! Semi-airfoil are a kind of curtain, aren't they? <sighs> wings. They're wings. For flying. Ah... Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Are we really gonna lug that around? It looks heavy. You're right. We'll pick it up on the way back. Standard. Please don't remember. Hey, I know this place.
one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? Don't let yourself fall behind, okay? Never. Surprise for you! Smarter than Rex. where we came from.
Are we going back? Come on! This is tickling me. I don't feel like going back up. We'll be back. I sure hope so. later. to bring the big parsnip over here. Are you sure this one is right? Passes. Boba salad. Huh? What? I didn't say anything. Oh, sorry, I thought you did. Creamberry flambe. Uh. Hey! Are you coming?
ready to go. Care to take us back to your place? It's kind of chilly up here. Yeah, we should have packed you a little sweater. Starting to look pretty tired. Uh, He's getting worn out. He's fighting back. We may need to change our strategy. One down. Uh, you got this? You bet I do. Eat that. You? Yep, saw that. Right before the picking. Harvest time. We're that good. I think I would ever see one again. Why? Are they rare? More than rare. No one has ever been able to grow them in the apiary. I had a chance to study them once. Our lab almost went bankrupt trying to procure some. Huh. And what's so special about them? Everything. No one seems to understand how these plants work. They don't require nutrients. Apparently, nothing that allows for photosynthesis. Actually, to be exact, I shouldn't even be calling it a plant. 
So like what? Are they animals? Because I'm telling you right now that I don't eat animals. No, they're not animals. And who said anything about eating them anyway? I don't know. That being said, can you eat them? Somehow I don't believe that was a priority question for biologists. What? Biologists don't eat? <sighs> yes, you can eat it. But it's not very good. It's acrid. Oh. I guess I could have figured that out. On the other hand, it has outstanding medicinal qualities. We were able to observe some amphibians feeding on it in order to regrow their lost limbs. What? That is awesome! <laughs> I doubt it would work for us, but it probably wouldn't hurt us. This is giving me a great recipe idea. No spoilers! shy when fighting someone their own size. I wouldn't call that acting shy. On your mark. Yeah. Ah. Your turn. Yep. This one's ready. Eat it. Hit that. Aha. Let's get it over. It's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. Oh, that's bad. One to go. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. You're safe. Nice. Woo! You go, girl. Watch out! Booyah! Bam! Aha! Ready when you are. Boss. Okay? No! You can do it. Stay with me. Uh, thanks. Uh, oh, Blute! Make way. Next time you'll think twice about eating babies. On your mark? Anytime. Now that's how we treat baby eaters around here. Ready? Go, go, go! I hope you weren't too attached to your teeth. I got this. <gasps> Booyah! Let's get it over with. Calm down. I'm done. Now let's pacify. That's how we rock. Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Hope I don't see your face ever again. I'm surprised, Kay. I thought you would start lecturing about the different paths of survival. Chalk it up to the laws of nature. Each one has its place, yada yada yada. Yes, everyone has its place, except the baby eaters. Huh. Well, our friend looks grateful. I'm sure that's the reason she brought us here. All right, then I guess she can bring us back now. Can't we stick around a bit longer? In these swamps? It's a nice change of pace. <sighs> okay, okay. Come on, Come on, lady. Time to bring us home. 
Are you alright, Kay? You look pale. I think I really need to eat something. Oh, good. I thought it was just me. It's much nicer this way. Nope. No scratching for baby eaters. Thank you, Burble. This one doesn't look very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. Mm, we were right. Let's give them time to ripen a bit. Perfect landing. As always.
Looks like the birds already had a crack at it. As long as they're leaving some for us. What's the highest a flow thread can go? Uh... Ah, Blute. We stink or something?
This one looks suspicious. Requesting permission to sample? Granted. Have a nice flight! Right on time. How about we take a look? this out oh the horror what is that <laughs> it sings too once more no that should be enough oh look at its face all right we've seen everything sorry Kay, but i have to bring this back to the nest i'm not sure that's necessary bring it back or i'll make it sing again uh <sighs> Okay, whatever. Sorry, my finger slipped. You thought you were so sly.
make sure you leave me some, okay? Too easy. Ready to carry this thing? Uh, we'll try, yes. Perfect. We just need a little rust to hold it all together now. This is starting to look pretty good. You okay? Laying back? As much as I can. I can see that. I was thinking. Any idea why I'm always in charge of hanging the laundry out to dry? Because I'm doing all the washing? Big deal. You just need to stick it in the machine. Where do you see a washing machine? Okay. Good point. I'll finish hanging the laundry. Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust.
See? You can cook too. Stop it. I just skewered a bunch of vegetables. Even still, it tastes great. Through none of my doing. But it does taste great. What are you reading? Nothing. I'm looking at the pictures. Ah, <gasps> that's the book we found in the old house's bookcase. Make room for me, please. We know that. That too? Huh. Haven't tried that in a while. Oh, yeah? Do you like that? Well... You have to tell me. I can't guess. Oh, yeah. Obviously that one is out of the question. Unless we clone ourselves. Yeah, that one is out too. Not that one. All right, let's move this along. This part is boring. Don't they have something normal with a reasonable amount of people? Huh. Oh, uh, yeah. But that... What? I like to think I have a flexible mind. But that requires a whole other kind of flexibility. We don't have to do it exactly like that, you know. Think of it like a recipe. You have to tweak it based on taste and what ingredients are on hand. So I'm an ingredient that's on hand? Well, you're my little apple do. Turn the page before I get angry. Oh. Would you like that one? Because you would? Well... All right. You have my word. If we ever find the right gear, I will consider trying. Uh... What? <laughs> Come on, please don't tell me that you have it in the nest. I have a lot of things. You can still change your mind, so no sweat. I'm just saying that if you want to try... I don't like to renege on my promises. Might as well try it while I can. Okay, to summarize, the apiary is responsible for the explosion on source, the apiary is responsible for transforming flow into rust, so the apiary is also responsible for the poisoning of local fauna, the apiary is responsible for the hornets that are ruining our lives right now. Is there anything the apiary is not responsible for? Uh, toast that falls on the ground jelly side first? I wouldn't bet on it. They are perfectly capable of calibrating toast flipping nano machines just to cause us grief. <laughs> no joke. It feels like every time we dig into it, this whole thing becomes scarier. the spud baby oh, I had to go last time it's your turn but I don't know how well it's about time you learned you lift it up open the underside and pull the tab 
It's really not complicated. If I knew that it would sing like that every night, I would never have allowed you to bring it. Okay, great. Now deal with the consequences of your choices. You not just drain the batteries once and for all? <gasps> I am gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. <sighs> I'm warning you, it's the last time. Sure, sure. See, it's not that hard. That's not the issue. <sighs> okay, we'll drain the battery. Do you think that the big door is still open? I hope so. 